about yesterday. You should share your faith with me. I want to hear about it. No more echoing. You had an experience in a church, and you've left that abusive situation, and other things will remind you of that experience, and um, you may get flashbacks, you may get uh, a lot of anxiety. And I have seen a lot of clients even sitting in my office, and there'll be something that triggers a memory of something that happened. And they wouldn't be reliving it, but the memory would be so strong. They would know where they're at. The memory would still be so strong that it would, uh, 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 you could see just a visible change in their affect. Their emotions, their facial expression would go from, from a little worried to, to terrified. So what made you decide to study thinking? Well, to be honest, um, my dad's a minister and um, I grew up in the church. They're also worried about getting involved in another church or some other kind of religious organization or affiliation because they're so concerned and they also know that they're going to be so triggered just by being in that space, uh, are they going to then succumb to being pressured, being controlled? Is it going to happen all over again? Our group was a big studier of the book of Acts because we were patterning ourselves after the New Testament church. So anytime you'd go to a church and hear about Acts 242, I mean, just like fireworks went off in our brains. Some people get anxious and they actually will leave a pew and just have to get out of the church. It's so red flagging to them. And at that point, it's kind of unprofitable to get somebody just going to a group. Plus, they don't really know the vision of that church and where they're coming from and what kind of the teaching is. So it can be a destructive experience. And then they go, all oh, religion is terrible. I hate it. If this is what you know, God is like, I want nothing to do with it. And they leave. Never to come back again. You know, if you preach Jesus Christ, Jesus had compassion for all of us. And you need to have compassion for that person and be patient with that person and understand that person was seeking to serve God if there wasn't a religious group. And that's your duty as a spiritual leader, is to have compassion for that person.